I just generated the most amazing AI doppelgangers of myself. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it for you too. It is incredible. Check this photo out. This is cool. I wish I was this cool. <laughs> but uh, my wife says, yeah, this kind of looks like me, but obviously I'm, I'm not riding a horse. He's probably a little bit more buff, a little bit more, a little bit more masculine, got the beard going. Still very cool photo. Check some of these other photos out. So this is me fighting a lion. This is me pointing off. So personally, for my own use case, I have I do YouTube. And so I have a lot of YouTube thumbnails that I need to create. I was looking to make some different poses. Maybe you're in business and you want some different headshots of you wearing a suit. Yeah, you can do that too. Very flexible to do this. This is all AI. This turned out really great. I was really impressed with this one right here. Now the text is messed up on here, but you can just go into Canva really easily. And there's, a, there's an AI feature in there to grab the text and fix it. So this is a very usable and, and cool shot. This one's a little over the top, but it's still freaking cool, right? I wish I looked this good. Let's see. I look like that though. Cool photo though. I like this and I'm pointing up. I, this would be great for a YouTube thumbnail or something. This one's, I think, screwed up my teeth a little bit. It's like a little bit too big of a smile. I like this. This was neat. This was really good. I think it captured my smile pretty well. I liked how that turned out. This does not look like me totally, but it's a really cool freaking photo. This looked pretty good. This one was neat. That's cool. I just love this. I think I'm going to use it for some kind of a YouTube thumbnail, looking off in a distance, wearing a suit. Maybe you're in business and you just want yourself wearing a suit. Yeah, you can do that too. In the back of a cab, wearing a suit skydiving. I don't think I would ever do that in real life. And then driving a go-kart. Let me show you how to do this too. It's so simple. So the first thing you need are some images of yourself. You don't want images that are like far away. This isn't that bad, but you want to be able to see the face very well. And so these are great shots because they're up close. And then also you want the shots to be from different angles, different perspective, different lighting conditions and things like that. Make sure they're also a pretty decent resolution. You don't want them blurry. So we have our photos. Then we need to go to this thing called Fal.ai. They're the creators of this new model called Flux. You've probably heard about it, but I'm going to show you actually how you can train your own Flux model. So we'll click login or sign up if you don't have an account. I already have an account. All right. Now, when you first log in, if you do want to use this, you will have to add a credit card and buy some credits. What I'm going to show you will cost between $5 and $10 to, to generate the, the doppelganger. So you want to click on model gallery after you've you know, bought some credits and all that. You want to find this button that says train a Flux Laura. So Flux is the amazing new mid-journey quality AI model out there. But now we can also train it using our own images. So we'll take those images that I showed you. And all you got to do, right, you just take those images, make sure they're high quality. Remember, just drag them right in here. So again, we were on that, we were on that main page. We added our credit card and all that stuff. We click this train a flux lore model. Now we're here. We add our images. You want to click this more down here. The only two things you need to touch in here are steps and trigger word. The more steps you have, the higher a chance that the resulting images will end up looking like you or looking like whatever you're training it on. This a thousand steps will cost five bucks to train. 2000 steps is the recommended amount of steps at like training steps. And that's $10. That's what I did. Now you also want to put a trigger word in here. I forgot to do this my first time, but ideally you put a word in here like Matt. And that way, when you create your prompt, you can say a picture of Matt jumping out of a plane or something like that. Otherwise, if you don't have a trigger word in here, you'd have to say like a picture of a man jumping out of a plane. All you got to do then is just click start. And then when you click start, depending on how many steps you have, it could take between 30 minutes and 45 minutes to generate when it finishes. You'll see this over here, your training history. Now, if you do this a lot and you have a lot of these, you can find all your previous trainings inside this request tab right here. But if you're just doing one, you'll see your training over here. And this is the magic button, run inference. So you click that and now we can actually run our custom trained model. So check this out. We'll put in a man. I can't say Matt because again, I forgot my trigger word. A man wearing a suit and walking down New York times square in the snow during Christmas. Now you can choose your image size. You can do whatever size you want. I'll do landscape. And then you can also choose your number of images. Each image you generate will be 7.5 pennies. So just keep that in mind. Then we'll press run 
Obviously, the more images you generate, the longer it takes. This will probably take about 15 seconds. Now, there are more settings in here you can play with, although it's really not recommended. Just do what I showed you right there. What I have noticed is the closer up the photo is, and you can tweak that with your prompt right here, the closer it is to you, the more realistic, more, more like you it will look. It's a faraway shot, it, less likelihood of it looking like you. That's pretty cool. Not bad. I was smiling. I like that. That's actually a pretty nice one. I'm actually going to save that. This one, wish I was a little slimmer in this photo. I think it, the camera always adds 20 pounds, right? Let's check this out. I like that. Although, yeah, I think it does look a little bit different than there's something wrong with, I don't know, it's all too skinny or something here. Yeah, but that's all you got to do to generate your own doppelganger. I hope you uh, found some cool uses for this. Drop a comment down below uh, with how you're going to use this or what you're thinking. If you like the video, like, subscribe, all that great stuff. Hey, I'm also the creator of ZimWriter, uh, AI writing software. There's a link to it down below. And I also have an AI uh, prompting course to help you prompt better, help you learn how to prompt. You've never seen anything like it. I can promise you that. There's also a link down below. Hey, thank you for watching. Good luck with your image generations. I'll talk to you later.